one of the sharpest lines. Uh, I do remember that Hitler was playing a lot of 60 shot T3s, maybe also including against Jan Nepomniachin, Trigger, uh, Chess Tours, but Bishop E3, aha, uh -huh. and Bishop E3, Knight G4. Don't, don't think that this will be a repetition, it's just like testing that, aha, uh -huh, my friend, you really want to go for this Bishop E3, Knight G4, and are you going for some other line or are you going for this uh, theoretical clash? Well, this, this is going to be a very, very theoretical activity. Yeah, I have to put you on the spot and ask you because I was keeping an eye out on the social media and I was seeing just a discussion around what happened between Hikaru and Magnus in this double bomb tag. Uh, lots of mixed debate and lots of mixed views. Very, very interesting to see people share their idea of the ideas, our viewers share their opinion. What was your take on this uh, uh, end to the preliminary? Well, I mean, it's, I also have mixed feelings with it, but I was trying, you know, not to really care about it because it was not decisive, right? On the last run, the, the point was that, you know, after Magnus played the move e4, e5, king e2, it's kind of like if you go to a battle with weapons, and then, you know, both of the players are heavy armed, and one of them puts down the weapon. Yeah, I mean, what, what should the other guy do? I mean, there is basically no other choice if you want to be gentleman, if you want to be correct play KT7 to lay down your weapon yourself and after that it was clear that this game was going to have so yeah I understand those three people who might say that you know this is a little bit disrespectful over chess it shouldn't be played like this but on the other hand I also feel like you know it was the very last run the players knew that uh, the knockout stage is coming with all the action and they felt like you know this is maybe a stylish way of of the actors because so it was just, you know, Magnus was king into and then okay, Hikaru is also shot like he was the one who invented on his king into and, and then what should he do? He has to go to 7 but uh, def definitely a uh, mixed to this Very interesting because also the two players, regardless of who won, who lost. E5 was the other big main move and yeah, Hikaru goes for long, long castles. I think for Hikaru to choose Long Castle is uh, something that still makes a lot of sense. I like Rook C8. You want to start eyeing that C3 knight. Sometimes you might even sacrifice an exchange there. Uh, big questions for Jan as well. What does he want to do with his team? Would he rather feel it's safe on E8 or will he eventually go for shot castling? Uh, I think both have their own advantages and disadvantages. What I can say about this position is that for those of us who are not familiar with Nidoff and these crazy uh, dynamics that exist, it looks absolutely unclear what's going on regardless of what the evaluation bar says that Bishop on G7 is an absolute monster on the board, uh, the Knight on G4 can jump to E5 and come to C4, the Rook on C8 already eyeing the C1 King. I think for Black Peter, looking at this position, I'm not very familiar with Nyla structures. The King on E8 so far looks pretty safe to me. Yes, that's that's basically the whole point of this setup. Uh, Black wants to go knight e5 and knight c4, so that's exactly the reason why Hikaru plays the move f4. Very very tempting option because usually I'm I'm not exactly sure, but I somehow have the feeling that you were supposed to play knight e5 with the idea of knight c4. Whether you start with bishop e6, that that I was not 100% sure. But uh, this one that after rook c8, if you get a chance and play the move f4, uh, making sure that this knight will not jump jump all the way to c4, that, that made perfect sense. White is ready to go knight d5, so one of the most logical moves maybe in the position would be something like knight a5. I mean, that's at least one of the very first moves that comes to mind, trying to open up the c file, uh, challenge the b3 knight. You actually, of course, don't really want to take the knight, but you want to jump to c4. However, whenever the knight from c6 moves, then might get the chance of putting his knight on d4, putting some extra pressure on uh, Black's bishop on e6, and also getting ready for, for other options. And look at this, Jan goes for bishop takes this thing. What a, what a surprise. That's quite committal. And also, I think uh, we know Hikaru and Jan, both these players, very uncompromising style of chess, Peter. This, this first round of their quarterfinals is definitely going to heat up. But let's do an opening tour because I see action on other boards as well. Uh, 